Okay, so now I'd like to record some guitar into my set. First thing I need to do is make a new audio track inside my session. So I'll go up and I'll pull down my Create menu here to Insert Audio Track. So there we go, Track 7's set to go. I'm going to go ahead and close up my Detail View down below. And I'll go ahead and close the browser up as well. And here you can see a I.O. interface section here. I've got a handy tab button over here to the right. It allows me to open and close that. And in my first chooser window that you see here on track 7, it says external in. And that's great because that's designating that I'm using a hardware interface to route my guitar signal, as you see here, into live intro. And in the sub chooser window down below, I'm just going to select my guitar input, which is one. Go ahead and record and enable the track down below. And I should have some guitar signal. Great. Next step is to go ahead and record the guitar into my different clip slots on my guitar track. And you'll notice that my play button, my launch button, and my stop buttons that exist over here in my prior tracks you'll notice that it's a record enable button here on my designated audio track that I want to record guitar to. So all I've got to do is click it and I'll get my count off and we'll be ready to go. So here we go, let's try some guitar. And I'll punch out by clicking. And now we'll cycle around and listen back to what we just recorded. I'll also double click on my new audio guitar clip and you'll see down below in the detail view that I've got a waveform that shows exactly what I played. And I played it just behind the beat, just a little bit. So what I want to do is go ahead and select the entire region of audio down in my sample edit window. Go up under my edit view, come down to quantize settings, and I'm going to go ahead and quantize my audio to the current grid. I'll click OK. Now I've got it tightened up exactly where I want it. And that's how we record guitar into clip slot one on track seven. So now I'd like to do some guitar on scene number two. Record a brand new part, clip slot two on track seven, which is my guitar track on scene two. So I could punch myself in on the fly or I could do just like I did before and just get a count off by clicking right here on my record enable button inside clip slot two. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. And I'll punch out. Okay, it doesn't sound too bad, but it sounds a little behind. It's like the first track. I can take care of that though. I'll go ahead and highlight the entire audio down below in my sample edit window. Go up under the edit menu once again. Go to my quantize settings. I'll just quantize that audio to the current grid. And there we go. Our warp markers have tightened that audio up. Sounds good. I'm going to go ahead and bring the volume down just a little bit. And now we can go back and play scene one, see how both these guitar clips sound together from scene to scene. Let's go ahead and click on scene one. And we'll click on scene two. Here's our breakdown. Let it cycle through a couple of more bars. And we'll launch scene one again. Okay, so I got that guitar sitting just about where I want it. A couple more things I want to do. I want to name these scenes that we've been working with over here on the right side. So I'm going to go ahead and click on scene one. Go to my edit menu. Go down to rename. And I'll call this first scene chorus. I hit enter. There we go. I'll click on scene two. Go to rename. Let's go ahead and call this the key change. There we go. And last but not least, our little breakdown here on scene three. And we'll just call that breakdown. 
Okay, good deal. So now we got chorus, scene one. And we've got our key change scene, followed by our breakdown, scene three. Great. Okay, sounds good. Now it's time to work with some effects across the board. Several of these tracks could use some audio effects from live intro, including the guitar. So let's take a look at those. <laughs> 